I'm just a simple fish cutter from Merle's Inlet, South Carolina, where I started, founded Merle's Inlet Seafood in 1967. <clears throat> I'm also an elected board member of the South Carolina Small Business Chamber of Commerce and I'm here today to speak for the thousands of businesses which will be negatively affected by seismic blasting and offshore oil exploration. And I'm here to speak for my daughter's generation. This is my daughter Emma. And my grandchildren and my great grands who will be severely affected by this forever decision that the current administration is trying to ram down our throats in spite of our well-expressed unanimous opposition to these plans. It first became obvious to me that opposition was the correct choice on this issue after doing just a wee bit of study and learning that the oil industry was not telling us the truth about anything involved with their proposals. Grandiose promises of jobs and revenue sharing were found to be grossly exaggerated and quite insignificant in comparison to our existing economy. The industry said that seismic blasting had been used all over the world and that it was safe, but it didn't take much more investigation to find out that these claims are also false. Recent science ties seismic blasting to drastic reductions in commercial fishing harvests as the fish move away or are injured or killed by seismic. In fact, the government's own environmental impact statement on proposed seismic blasting in the Atlantic predicts disorientation, deafening, and death to hundreds of thousands of marine mammals, millions of fish, and other, other ocean species if seismic is allowed to move forward. Does that sound safe to you? No. 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 The fishing industry has been subjected to dozens of different regulations and size limits in closed seasons in order to stabilize populations of fish at sustainable levels. Shrimp trawlers have been required to attach turtle excluder devices to their nets to allow endangered and threatened species of sea turtles escape safely. Commercial fishing interests just recently have been complying with government mandates to stop operations in huge swaths of the ocean where the critically endangered right whales are present for many weeks at a time. And all these regulations and mandates are quite expensive to the industry, but are we are, they are complied with because we want to protect the industry and, and protect the species involved and the fish stocks we rely upon for our livelihoods. We operate in a compatible manner with the Atlantic Ocean and our efforts feed the world. The issuance of seismic blasting permits to the oil industry display a double standard on the government's part. Why are only fishing interests charged with proper management of ocean species, while the oil industry is allowed to kill and maim them indiscriminately? Yeah. Does the Endangered Species Act apply to everyone but the oil industry? In closing, I want to emphasize some pertinent points and call a couple people out. Secretary Zinke of the Department of the Interior said, quote, these proposals are not a one-size-fits-all situation. If we find areas that are compatible with these proposals, we would like to move forward there, unquote. Well, Mr. Zinke, just where the hell are these areas of compatibility? There aren't any. Every town, city, or county that weighed in on these issues has opposed your proposals for seismic blasting and offshore drilling. Hundreds of them and thousands of businesses from Maine to Miami. Not one municipality on the East Coast has spoken out in favor of your proposals, not one. So Mr. Zinke, you broke your word. There are no compatible areas for your plans, but you really do want to make this a one size fits all out of this situation. Even though the shoe does not fit a single foot on the East Coast. I went to Washington twice, representing the Small Business Chamber and the Business Alliance to protect the Atlantic coast to personally convey that unanimous opposition of these many thousands of small business and municipalities that would be negatively affected if all this went forward. I sat in the boardroom with the director of Boeing, the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, and asked him point blank 
If even one community on the East Coast had come out in favor of these proposals, then the room went silent. But I was heartened on the night that our president was elected when he chose to promise, quote, to be a president for all the American people. But that ain't happening. What about us, Trump? What about us? Are we not part of all the American people that you wanted to represent? Do you not hear us? Does South Carolina not matter to you? Are you going to disrespect our great Governor Henry McMaster, the first elected official to support you for your presidency? Did you not hear his respectful request to be excluded from these plans? Did you not hear all the other governors? All you seem to care about are the big polluting corporations and the passive investors who invest in them. Well, sir, the working class folks in seafood, hospitality, and tourism are not at all impressed with that. So folks, this action announced today should make Washington, D.C. real damned aware of the fact that we will not stand for this neglectful and condescending attitude. So shout it out with me, no seismic blasting. No, no seismic blasting! No, no oil! No oil! No oil! No way! No way! Not here! Not here! Not ever!